Good morning, guys. Uh, well, I'm being awake like from 5:30, and just thinking about go get the pop house today. But being raining this morning, so I'm not sure yet. So let's figure out that. I always go get the papas around, you know, the 10 and 15, and sometimes the most the end of September. But that's the end of September is not a good thing. This time of the year, guys, I want to share with my family the fruit that I found all around. The Well, guys, I decided to go. Still raining, so it's around 7:53. I've been awake like from 5:30 to 6 in the morning. I see my mom wake up early too, like it's around 6. She put some water on the plants and tomatoes and the other things. She asked me if I want to go somewhere. I said maybe. But I decided to go and let everybody sleep. So let's go, let's go, guys. Let's see if we found the pop house. The last year I found the guys around. Uh, 15, 10 of the month and was already everything fall down so now it's the 10 of September so I was waiting for a few days to see if I can get a patch and my intention today guys to get like a, at least 30 pieces of fruit so you know if I got a 30, 30 a 35 fruit that will be perfect to give it to my family members maybe 10 uh, fruit you know different sizes you know I'm trying to give you small big ones whatever I can But I'm not sure guys if I'm gonna do it, so that's a big uh, that's a big uh, thing I have to do today for real. We come here for the papa plant. We're gonna do a little shaking guys. You know you, you have to do it hard, so you slow. If something is ready guys, it's gonna fall. If it's nothing ready, it's not gonna fall nothing guys. What we're gonna do is use a very gentle move. If something falls guys, it's ready. If nothing falls, guys, it's not ready yet, so we're going to do this one every three guys that we see, guys, around here. So, nothing ready yet, guys, what I see. But you can see the fruit, guys, all the way in the top, guys, you can see some of the fruits. So I see some of the fruits in this one here. Nothing falls, so it's just a gentle, guys, it's gentle, that's it, guys. If you see something that falls, guys, ready. Nothing falls yet, so. Maybe we're gonna be looking on the ground too, guys. Maybe we found some fruit that already falls, so. Oh, I see a fruit in the ground, guys. Well, we got one. Yeah, we got one, guys. Let's see inside. Whoa. Something already got it, guys, but that's the first that I found, so I'm gonna eat it. Let me see. Got a few days on the ground, so no, I don't know. Mm. Now, guys, it's gonna leave it here, guys. That one's too ripe. A few days ago, I think. Well, we could go and look, and that's, that's a good sign. Oh, one is right there, guys. That's good. We found one. Think it's ripe? No, it's not ripe. Uh, somebody use a. I think the guy coming here, I think they use a smash and do whatever they want. Well, we're gonna look in. Oh, first one. Two first, guys. They use fall, guys. Like I said, you have to do it slowly. And they were four guys, so we got one, two. The four first guys. I'm gonna put it there. Let me see. I see more on the top guys, so let's see. You have to do it guys, a very gentle movement guys. Not too full. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Some four already guys. Okay, let me see. Oh, this one ready? Whoa, that's nice. We got a few. Let me see. I see another one falls over here. Let me find it. Oh, here is one. Yep. This, yeah, that one's ripe. Yep. Oh, guys, it's gonna be a good day for I see. Well, maybe we're gonna do what we want. Let's see. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. You have to find, guys. If you find something ripe, they fall like this. That's perfect sample. You can feel. Put your finger on it. You wanna feel? Very soft. That means it's ripe. And it's perfect. So I can see all go. ones over there. I think those are ripe. They look ripe. So <laughs> let's see. Oh, another one here, guys. So that's what I'm looking for, guys. Ripen like this. 
and they're very soft guys you don't want to find in the market it's very hard to find them in the market because they're right very fast and now we got the time from september first to right now it's a prime time let me see uh -uh, that one is ripe full already so it was ripe so yeah you can see one cluster right here guys that's a beautiful example guys beautiful example no 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 don't even try santo those are not ripe even all the critters start eating it you see those start eating it this one for a few days ago what's what i saying guys you know ants and other insects start eating them when they fall on the ground but they're really good guys they are related to the anonas we eat them at sabado the uh, pink ones and the white ones oh the chiriboya let's go chirimoya oh let's go to oh one fall over there okay, i hear it i fall somewhere here i don't know where oh it's over there so they are related guys you see so that's what we're looking for so they are related to chirimoyas and cluster apple so eating one of those is like a like a, eating a hybrid that survive you know cold so and a, and a lot of flavor of the nonos guy it's close to it's very close to this flavor too so that reminds me of my childhood when i eat those here so when i was little in el salvador i was eating those the anonas and these ones turn the same so nothing for yet guys so i want to move one three guys but you can see it so hey let me see about the other ones that i see maybe riper let me see let's go let's go yeah this one are right guys i can feel it so it's gonna take it anyways i'm gonna make this whatever is green ripen in the house but you can feel the differences or the density inside them the thing and I can, i'm gonna open this one to show you if i just squeeze it with your finger and go through that means it's ready to go so let me clean my hands a little well you know a little, little better guys let me open one i see over there one and let's see how it's look inside so yep it's ripening it's slowly but it's ripening mm. 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 Tastes so good, guys. Oh my god, one year ago, I don't eat this. Mm. So good. You can see the seed, guys, look very close to relate to Anonas that we eat in El Salvador. So, so good. Oh my god. Mm. Mm. Put the seed guys in the water if you can to flow all the way down and make more trees. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you something. Water is getting a little higher again, so like I said, just be careful, okay? So, anyways, that we, we need the water guys. We gotta draw draw for a few days. We don't got nothing at all. So you need, we uh, we need the water, so let me see. I'm gonna show you a secret guy, secret place that I have. It's called Pow Pow Island. It's a little piece of land that I found the last trip. You can cross it used to you know to this time when it's the water is really high guys you don't even cross it so when the water is really low guys you can find this tree right here guys and that guys the trees guys they give me the biggest pow pows that i ever seen in my life and every time they come in here guys always like a full bucket of papa so maybe i got my full bucket here this year maybe somebody already coming because i got a friend that coming here sometimes to look around so let's see for the, so to this time guys I always found pow pow here so let's see nothing yet that means still fruit in the top or maybe the whole oh, one for already we got the first plant this the first fruit but this pace guys always give me a lot of pow pows I don't know why, but like at this little place got more tendencies to grow bigger pow pows. I don't know why. Don't ask me why because I don't know the answer. So I'm going to do, guys, like I do every year. I squash these plants down. No worries. They will come back. I don't 
break down, I just squash it down like a storm. And then I'm on my tree. And you can see right there, the biggest papas I ever have, guys, in my life, those here. You can see here, them, those. But the thing is, guys, they're not ripe. Feel ripe, feel not. And sometimes, guys, when I check the tree, fall into the water, I cannot get it. So let's see. Let's check this tree. Nothing fall yet. It means, oh, one fall over there, one fall over there. You have to be, your, your eye open, guys, when something fall. If not, you're not gonna get nothing. And it's a good technique, guys. They do like this, guys. When you're doing like a, the uh, papa collection, or trying to get all the papas you can. You believe me, guys, they're ripening now. Then you're gonna find nothing, nothing at all. Promise that. So let me put that one on the bucket, or bring the bucket here. We try to do this a little faster. For any uh, inconvenience water, they come in here. And you can see, guys, all the papa uh, plants, hidden there by the raccoons, bears, and whatever. I you see some, some kind of scab over there, I don't know what it is, whatever. So let me get all the papas I can, because I know, guys, these papas are gonna fall everywhere. I'm gonna go in the water and all this stuff. I'll come back with you when I got a full bucket. Then, guys, always papas going in the water. So, oh. Okay, again, I catch one of those, the big ones. Oh my God, I'm not falling all the way in the water. I'll show you, always big here, I don't know why. Like I say, very long papa. Pow, pow, I'm big, but not like this. Okay, let me do this three. This you always give me a lot. Ooh, ooh, it's coming, yep. Again, falling on the water. Run, Santa, run. Run, Santa, run. The car is gonna take it. No! We got it. Got you. Okay. Got it, guys. So, oh, guys, I run. So, there's one more. I don't know what it is. Let me find it. Unbelievable, guys. All this wet stuff. Just so slippery. I got my whole feet and pants wet. I think the adventure is done. And the papa, I don't give me too much like I want it. But, well, it's not what it is. So I'm going back to the shore. Like I tell you guys, it's not easy. Not easy. But you're trying to gather, trying to gather right. That's all I can say. So I'm going to show you what I have. This is what I have right now, guys. It's a three colors bucket. On my way back, maybe I'm gonna to try to get some. But now that's fine. Let's go, let's go. I see one right there. Let me go try. That was a big one over there, guys. So if you got it, guys, you got it. If you don't got it, you don't got it. That's all I can say. You can see that one. Oh my God, two big ones there. One, two, three, four. Oh, well, guys, I'm gonna try to get it. Even if some kind of weed here, I don't know what it is. Oh, got it, guys, got it. That's what I wanted, guys, to get this one. That's that's gonna be for my mom. Yeah. Yep. That's gonna be for my mommy. So let me see if I can get the other ones. Well, guys, uh, I got it 116. I was thinking I'm gonna go back the truck fast, but I wanna get it one back, guys, like every year. So let's try. Okay. All the other one fall. Let me get it. Pull over there. Let me see. What the fall? You cannot see, that's the problem with the brush. Oh, here it is. Yep, on the. Here, guys, it's gonna be a gentle tap you have to do. Back and forth, if they're ripening from the uh, stem, they will fall. Okay, guys, let's go, let's go. Well guys, I completed the bucket of papaws. So I'm gonna go fishing for some fish for my aunt. If I will catch some fish, good. If I'm not good, we're gonna try to do the best. And I'm gonna do my fishing from the uh, bridge like I always do. If I will catch crappie, good guy. If I'm not good guys, we try and just to do something quick. I don't even have a timer because I had to go with my wife to get some stuff to uh, all the store. So let's go, let's go. Let's try right there, let's see. Well guys, we don't catch nothing at all. That's fine. 
I've uh, accomplished what I want to accomplish today, guys. I'm Continue wet for three miles. to the bone, guys. I'm wet to the bone. But I think, guys, that was the best decision I ever made. Because if I don't do it, I don't want to get what I, uh, what I got now. A lot of people coming, guys, to get the uh, power, power, you know, in the time through uh, September, you know, 1 to the 28th, and then the whole fruit fall down, rotting, and nobody else could get can eat and this fruit like I tell you guys it's very uh delicate you no know? you cannot you cannot transport this fruit very well if you gotta someone somebody can bring this fruit to you to your house without problems of the transportation because the rule the fruit get very bad very fast <coughs> good for you but I never found nothing in the internet that can bring me the fruit very fast to my house and this fruit is where like I say where because like I say, you, you can get it one time of the year. You have to think about it. If somebody else coming around, guys, and get some of this fruit, I'm gonna be happy about it, guys. If somebody got this fruit, guys, for sure. For sure. I want to you go over there, guys. I want to you enjoy the walk doors, guys. Let's go, let's go. And I'm gonna try, uh, I'm gonna try with my mom some of the fruit and let's see how she say, how she say about the fruit. Let's go, let's go. ¿Qué piensa mami del pao pao? Está rico. ¿A qué le sabe? A nona. <laughs> Pura nona. I told you guys, this fruit tastes like a, the uh, thing we, we got in my country, the nona. Tastes the same because it's a family. Bien rico. And eh, mama says it's so good because she says it tastes like a nona, she says. ¿Le gusta mama? Um, bueno. <laughs> La gente que inventa, hasta pueden ser medicinas, estas cosas que, que nosotros no comemos, va. Por eso. Creo que a, algo lo falta. Mamón, say can be medicine too in some way. But well, that's what it is. So let's go, let's go, guys. <laughs> la gente, la gente que, que, que vivía así, que la, la que dicen que son indios, dice la gente, ¿no? Aunque todos somos de esa misma clase. Es que mamá, los nativos americanos la comían, mamá. Era principalmente base de su, de su comida de aquí tem de temporada. Era una fruta temporada. Creo que eran fuertes. Por eso, pero somos fuertes. Adiós. Fuertes y, no, y no trabajaban. Por eso. Well, guys, it's time to harvest. It's gonna sound crazy, right? But I go under the day to get some papa out. I got some papa that I already give to my family. And I start going around, you know, the forest. I found, you know, the, the, the wild persimmons, you know, and I start, you know, just pick them out, you know, whatever found on the ground, and maybe pick some, you know, from the tree too, like this one here to show you. I used to take that one to show you, really, because it's still, you know, ripe. But, you know, whoever, you know, you know, whatever time you're going to pick something, you know, something going to be ants, they start eating the fruit. But sometimes you find fruit that not even eaten by ants, they're good to eat. And I found, guys, something weird in the forest too. Over there is at the, like, Japanese or Korean dogwood, it's called, yeah, it's called this plant, it's a flowery plant and got a, you know, edible uh, berry. So I was very intrigued about this one, I want to try it today to see how edible it is, but it's okay. I'll try it later and I'll tell you what's going on with that. It's a fruit, you know, introduced, you know, by, you know, gardening and stuff, but that happens sometimes. I got my first tomato right here, guys. And well, I, I, not my first tomato, my first tomato was a long time ago, but you can see right there, my garden is getting bigger. I actually, I got a pumpkin too there. Like you can see, I got a pumpkin. It's growing. I don't know if it's gonna be uh, enough time for you know get the orange color, but uh, we're gonna try. Anyway, I start my harvest. Well, I start my planting very late, like around uh, the beginning of summer. I was I supposed to start, you know, around what uh, around you know uh, May. I got my tomatoes there. I got a one ripe tomato right there, and I got my other tomatoes here too, guys. My tomatoes getting bigger, fast, and beautiful. I got hit the plants on my wife. And I got my peppers too here, guys. Guys, so you can see I got here my my bell peppers growing very fast. My mom every day put some water on it. You can see I got it here. My peppers getting very big. You can see the frogs right there, guys. They're getting very big. And I got my jalapeno peppers too here, guys. So I can tell you, I got my plants growing very fast, guys. So that's the good thing, guys, to plant your own vegetables and stuff. I got my own jalapenos right there growing in my in my in my. <laughs> And my balcony, yeah, because I haven't got much space, guys, but I have to figure out something. I got my pumpkin. When the pumpkin grow uh, big enough, guys, I got at least like a, like a one, I got a two right here. I'm hoping to get three or four. 
and then I'm gonna cut you know the you know the end for you no know, make the plant to grow you know not too big and you know I try to do some of my garden in here right now but when I when I get in my house guys I will make a big garden so you can see right there you can make your own garden you know in your in your balcony it's no problem about it for me it's very easy for me but let's come back guys for what I was saying about the pow pows as I've been some seeds guys because I'm pretending to plant some seeds this year and try to get some plants and plant around the river area where I'm going to fish for the trout. You know, guys, the papa tree, guys, is a native plant from here. It's the only bigger fruit, you know, in the nor'easter. So yeah, it's really good, guys. Uh, I already eat one of those last time, but I'm really intrigued with these berries. I'm gonna try later. My tomato is for this morning. <laughs> let's go, let's go, guys, let's go.